lot of my work is about the profound and catastrophic transformations of our lives. We're going through transformations every day, all the time, little ones. So I'm talking about the huge ones. When you move to another country, that's a huge transformation. My name is Shuji Wang. I'm a Portland artist. Um, I work in painting and book arts. I was born and raised in Taiwan. I came here when I was 15 to go to high school. I moved in with an American family, so my diet drastically changed overnight. One day I was eating Chinese food, the next day I was eating lasagna. That first few years that I was in this country, I missed Chinese food so much. I decided to use food as the metaphor to talk about immigration. So I did a series of um, paintings on two panels that are related, that are then uh, bound together. One on the food that I ate before I came here, and one on the food that I ate after I came here. I wanted the two parts to be unified. I have two parts of me that eats Chinese food, eats American food, but I'm still a whole person. In Taiwan, I would get out of junior high. There would be all these street food vendors waiting for us. I would get my grilled corn and I would get home and uh, watch my favorite show, The Thunderbirds. After I came here, I would get home from school and my American mom would give me a little bowl of Pringles and I could eat that while watching Star Trek. So I wanted to do this project where I look at people's identities through their professions. My grandparents had a dry cleaning and a laundry shop in Taiwan. And I remember being a child and wandering around in there and it's like a maze. And of course here in this country, when Chinese immigrants first came, that was one of the professions that was open to them. So I put all these pieces together and created the laundry maze. On the front of the shirts, I sewed on tags. It was the profession that they have now after they've immigrated. And you flip it over, and it's the profession that they had prior to immigration. Here in the US, people's identities are really tied up with what they do professionally. It's such an identifier. When people immigrate, quite often that's one of the identities that they lose. I left Taiwan in 1975, and at that time, it was one party rule, authoritarian government. I came from a place where I just did what I was told. I've always wanted to be an artist, but my parents thought something like engineering or computer science would be better. I was very interested in patterns, and I always did really well with math and science. And I was not born a rebel. I got my degree in computer science. I was an engineer for 16 years. I was approaching art very rationally. With this new series, um, I am just letting things evolve. You know, I wanted to kind of work more intuitively. I started to think about my fears of water. And my inability to swim. So in my mind, this is kind of in the deep sea. I'm using water both as a metaphor to talk about how we think about the world and as an actual literal subject and how it's changing, how it's going to impact our lives. I'm trying a lot of different mediums so that will allow me to get out of my comfort zone. So I'm a book artist, and to me, you know, books come in many, many forms. A lot of my books are very sculptural. 
either the, the, the viewer has to move around to read the piece, or the viewer has, has to actually touch the piece to follow the narrative. A lot of us have fears that are so deep that we, we're not necessarily aware of them, and it takes a lot of excavating and thinking and meditating, and so it's fear all the way down. In both book arts and painting, the themes that interest me the most are very similar. Profound and catastrophic transformations of our lives, immigration, health, the environment, food, water. And, and for artists who make very personal work, people feel that personal bond.